So once you're happy with the way that your blog is looking, it might be time to deploy it. This particular video is about deploying it to a WordPress theme. So we're going to start by opening up SiteGrinder on the Photoshop file that we've finished. And this is, we've already been to the design manager on this one and I've customized it and, and configured it. And we're all happy with the way that it's behaving in the design manager. Now I'm going to come over to the build and deploy pane and I'm going to make a new site. So I'll just give this site the name of uh, something, perhaps my theme. Let's just call it uh, um, uh, theme for testing. And I'm going to make a directory to it for it. Now I'm going to make it this. For, I have an installation of WordPress on my machine, so I'm going to make an inst, uh, directory for it in my WordPress themes directory. But you could really deploy it anywhere in your hard drive and just copy it to your WordPress themes directory if you're on your server or wherever it needs to go. So we'll just go uh, test. And we'll choose this directory here, and we're going to for the CMS instead of the remote or the local or none, we're going to choose WordPress theme. Now when we choose the WordPress theme, then we actually decide on the theme name. So I'll uh, just keep the, the name we're going for so far, which is Theme for Testing. And its author is Chris Perkins. And the theme URI, this theme doesn't have a URI right, right yet. Um, if I were going to have a page about it for people to find out more about it, that would be the URI. And of course this can be changed later. And then I will put in a, um, a description of this lovely theme. All right, so um, WordPress themes uh, are not at this time e-commerce enabled, so you'll, you'll not be able to choose an e-commerce module. Also, uh, you've probably run across this in the report already, but you cannot use certain advanced uh, site render hints on your WordPress themes. So you cannot use uh, gallery hints or X media hints, nor the commerce hints. Uh, none of these can be used for themes that you're taking out to WordPress. Uh, WordPress has its own system for making image galleries, uh, bringing in video, things like that. And so you would use WordPress for doing that sort of thing. All right. Well, once I've done that, then uh, I'm just going to click the, the deploy checkbox here and uh, deploy it. And we are done. Now, this is not going to open immediately in the browser or anything like it does when we are deploying to the remote content manager, the local content manager. In those cases, um, SiteGrinder is the server that's hosting that site. But in this particular case, SiteGrinder is not the server. It will be your server where WordPress or you have to have your own local installation or whatever for you to run. Now, I happen to have one, so I'm just going to switch over to that. So here's my current uh, WordPress site right now, and it's just using the default WordPress theme three theme. So I'm going to go in and change it to be this new uh, theme that I've just added here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, log in to my WordPress site. There we are. And then I'm going to come here to the appearance pane and click themes. And in the themes, I should see all the themes I have installed. As it is, I've got the uh, 2010 theme that's currently the theme. And then I've got this new one, the one I just deployed a second ago, uh, listed here. And it even has a little icon of the the theme as it appears uh, in the Photoshop file. So I'll just go ahead and uh, activate that. And with that, let's just go ahead and open up WordPress. And there it is. So now that theme that I built earlier in through some of the videos is now the theme being used right here on this particular uh, WordPress blog. And so if uh, that's, that's how you do it. Um, I guess this is also the end of this particular video. I hope you've enjoyed this and, uh, uh, and will enjoy making new uh, themes for WordPress from SiteGrinder and Photoshop.